Welcome to our lesson on translating shapes. So a translation in MOS is when we move an object to create an image. And we can do this using a horizontal and a vertical movement. We always have the horizontal first. So to move this object A two units to the left, I'm going to pick a vertex or a corner. And I'm going to move this vertex one, two to the left, and then I'm going to move it three up. One, two, three. And I'm going to recreate the object to make an image from this vertex. And to check this works, I'm going to perform the same translation from a different vertex, which is this vertex here. I'll move two to the left and three up. And you can see the two vertices correspond to the original. So this will label as image B. And the question B. We're going to move object A four to the right and two down. So again, I'll pick a vertex. I'll pick this one here. I'll move this vertex four units to the right and two down. And then I will redraw the object to create image C. And I'll check it works with a different vertex than this one here. Four to the right, one, two, three, four, and two down. And you can see the vertices match. Okay, do you want to try and translate object A through question C and question D? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question C, I'm going to pick a vertex. We'll move it three to the right and one up. And then we can redraw the image, which we'll label D. And for question D, We'll have a different vertex. We'll move three to the left and one down. And then we'll redraw the object again to create image E. Okay, so this is performing translations. Now we're going to move on to describing the translation. So for question E, we've been asked to describe the translation from B to D. So we'll pick any vertex on B. I'm gonna pick this vertex here. And I need to match the same vertex on D, which is this vertex here. And we describe it by moving horizontally to the right by five places. And then a vertical movement of two down. So we have five to the right and two down. Do you want to try and describe a translation that maps D onto E? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So again, we'll pick a vertex on D. We'll match it with a vertex on E, and we go horizontally first. So one, two, three, four, five, six to the left, and then vertically two down. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.